Hello aspirants hope all of you are doing well welcome back to mains answer writing basics program that is mab being presented by india for ias team this is manjunath mudol in this video we are going to discuss about the approach to the question that is posted on day 2 so the topic for day 2 is polity within polity the sub topic is historical background historical background to the indian constitution so this topic falls under gs2 paper indian polity and constitution coming to the day 2 question the question that was posted on day 2 was discuss the significant pre independent events and documents that influenced the evolution of the indian constitution highlighting their contributions to modern constitutional development so this was for 10 marks and the word limit is 150 words so the question is specifically asking about the pre independent events and documents documents means different uh, policies and acts that are brought by britishers in india the question also ask about their influence on the evolution of the indian constitution now we will discuss the approach to the answer for the question that we have discussed so far so in the introduction we should briefly introduce the evolution of the indian constitution as a product of various pre independence events and documents then further we should mention the importance of understanding those influences to appreciate the constitutional development of modern india so we should write it in briefly so then in the main body we should talk about the various british policies acts and uh, significant events that are happened before independence how these uh, events uh, contributed to the framing of the indian constitution so first we have to talk about the early british policies and charters such as the regulating act of 1773 pitts india act of 1784 and the charter acts like 1813 1833 and 1853 so we should mention the features of these acts and their influence on the constitutional development in india so further we should talk about the indian council acts like indian council act 1861 and its significant feature like non official indians in the legislative councils so this act uh, introduced the non official indians in legislative councils then we should talk about the indian councils act of 1892 so so this act it introduced indirect indirect elections in india and it also increased the number of non official members in the legislative council then we should talk about the indian council act of 1909 that is also known as morlem into reforms so this it introduced the separate electorates for muslims so this was a divide and rule policy of uh, britishers then we should write how the constitutional makers overcome this uh, divide and rule policy how they introduce universal adult franchise for and a single electorate for all indians in india that we should mention further we should talk about the government of india acts there are, there were two government of india acts one is government of india act 1919 so also called as montego chemso reforms so we should write its features and its influence on indian constitution then government of india act 1935 so we should briefly mention its features and their reflection on the indian constitution so this is about the government of india acts further the question is also asked about the significant events that contributed to the constitutional development so we should briefly mention the nationalist movements and the revolutions and their influence on the making of the indian constitution so there is a report called nehru report so nehru report it has a profound impact on the present indian constitution that we should write the features of nehru report and we should mention its influence on the indian constitution then there is also lahore resolution so it demanded for complete independence so then that we should write uh, that we should mention and its impact on the indian constitution then there were various round table conferences uh, they had uh, various deliberations on constitution reforms that we should mention further we should talk about the impact of world war 2 and crips mission on the constitutional development such as proposals for dom indian dominion status after world war 2 and its rejection by indian leaders leading to the quit india movement finally we should talk about the indian independence act 1947 which gives the sovereignty to india sovereignty to india so this is very important 
then we should conclude highlighting the synthesis of british legal traditions and indian aspirations in shaping a democratic and federal constitution for indian union so this is all about answer approach to the day 2 question thank you for watching see you in the next video till then happy answer writing